Welcome to The Lab Report. I'm your host, Richard Nickel. One of the most powerful aspects of hardware is the physical connection it creates between the artist and their instrument. In this third installment, I would like to discuss our approach to controllers in the past and take a peek at what we've been working on in the lab. Every artist has a unique approach to performing, so the flexibility and depth of a controller is critical in determining the roles it can play in studio or on stage. The original Voltage Research Laboratory utilized a 10-pad capacitive touch surface paired with a quirky sequencer to control two channels of unquantized CV. This allowed for plenty of experimentation, but the open, unquantized nature of the controller made it difficult to incorporate into a more traditional pitched workflow. By merging these two workflows, the Voltage Lab 2 enables artists to blend traditional pitch performances with the freedom to openly experiment, creating a flexible playground for musical creation. Two independent channels offer a combination of real-time expressive playing and in-depth sequencing. Assignable scales, step conditions, jumps, chance effects, generative sequencing, and a host of other tools come together allowing musicians to both create and interact with complex systems. All of this may sound somewhat abstract, but put simply, the touch controller allows for customized, patch-specific workflows with hands-on, interactive control of the results. Analog is important, and it's time for us to connect.